Hello, welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. Thank you so much for being here. So I'm not sure how this episode is going to come to you because recently I have recorded a couple of episodes and I'm not sure if I had the courage, the gonads, if you will, to post them. I may have recorded them and gone, well, I needed to say this stuff, but I don't need to post it. I could be opening up a huge can of worms. Maybe I should just let it lie. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure what I did. Hopefully, <laughs> I, I had the courage enough to post it. Uh, I didn't name any names, but hopefully I had the courage enough to post it. That's kind of where I am with it. But the thing is that the reason I'm talking to you right now is because I want to remind you that almost nothing is irreversible. If I post an episode and it, it's huge, that's great. If I post it and, and there's a huge backlash, I can remove the episode or I can stand my ground. I have a bunch of choices I can make. And that's something that's important for us all to remember is that every second, every instant of your life, you stand at a crossroads. Sometimes they're big. Should I move to this new city? Should I change this job? Should I accept this marriage proposal? Should I make the marriage proposal? You might be standing facing huge changes, huge choices, or you might have small choices, should I go to lunch here? Or should I go to lunch there? Should I exercise? Should I not? Should I watch this television show? Should I not? Can I spend a little time writing instead of watching television? Those are the choices that you can be making at any time. You always, always have a choice. And the key is not whether or not you choose because you're going to choose something because not making a choice is also a choice. And the key here is, can you live with the choice you made? And that's why I'm not sure if I'm going to post those episodes that I that I have uh, recorded. It's a couple of episodes, actually. And I'm not sure I posted them. I don't know. Maybe you listened to them and you were shocked, too. I don't know. Because I'm not normally out there like that with myself and my reactions and responses to other people. Most of the time, I'm talking about things that I want to encourage you to do or to think about. Sometimes, every once in a while, it's a personal thing. And it, this was a personal thing. And I, I'm going, I don't know if I have the gonads to do it. I just don't know if I have the guts. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But again, it's a choice. I have to look at it from that perspective. It is a choice. And I, no one else, makes that choice. And I, no one else in this case, has to live with that choice. So please remember, as you're listening to me go on and on about this, that you have, you, you face choices every second of every day. And whether or not they're big or small, the important thing is assess for yourself, evaluate for yourself, build the awareness, like I talk about all the time, about whether or not you are ready to face the consequences of that choice. Not making a choice is still a choice. You may decide, I'm not going to do anything about this. That's totally cool. But is that okay? Like if I decide not to post those, those episodes, is that okay? Or did I, did I just need to get it off my chest? Or is there a bigger conversation to be had about the fact that sometimes when someone is a blocked creative, they, if they have any kind of position of authority or power, may suggest or guide people in directions that aren't necessarily the best for them because they're a blocked creative. That's a real head scratcher for me because they can only do what they can do. They can only see what they can see. The key is if you decide to listen to that advice and make changes or choices based on that, you have to decide before you make those changes whether or not you're going to be able to live with the choices you make. So it's not the other person's fault at all. All they're doing is suggesting or guiding or advising. You're the one who's deciding on whether or not you want to do what they said, whether or not you want to follow their advice. You still have to hold yourself responsible. You still have to assess the consequences of the choices you make. And you still have to be okay with that in the end. Really tough. Really, really tough. And I'm with you. If you're facing this kind of thing right now, I am with you. Know that. I hope you enjoyed today's short episode on choices and facing the consequences of your choices. Until next time, this is Isolde reminding you to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. 
please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and it would mean the world to me if you told a friend about it. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright 2021. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, remember to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. Thank you.